Just excited, ready to go. Uh, it's, it's time to play some football, uh, and that's it, just all the emotions. Anxious, excited, nervous, ready to go, just waiting for, what is it, 439, something like that. Let's, let's do it. I was uh, messaging with Mike Morreale this morning. He talked about the preparation leading into 1999, talked about your preparation and what Ron Lancaster said and, and preached family. What's the message to your team going into today? Nothing different than it's been all year. Uh, they're prepared and focused, but the game's going to deal us some adversity. That's, it's, it happens in every football game. It never goes according to plan. So. Uh, we're going to have to deal with it and uh, just give it our all. I'm just excited. It's, it's time to play. Your, your team is, is the clear favorite in this one just after a great season. Do you, I don't want to say let down in these games. I imagine everyone's mental stability or maybe it's a media thing outside. But is there a message to your guys about not getting overconfident or, or just, you know, kind of obviously there's a ton of respect for the other point? No, it's really from the outside in. Uh, our focus is, is internal. And, you know, the, the, as far as favorites or underdogs, that's, that's for the outside. We're, uh, we're dialed. We're dialed. We're ready to go. Uh, Orlando, is your pregame message all set up, all prepared, or are you going to let the emotion go when it's time to address the guy before going on the field? Uh, I don't think I've had a prepared one this whole season. It's, and to be honest with you, the majority of it's already been done. It's, it was in our last meeting of uh, 2019. And now it's about going out to play. There's no, there's no words left that you know, are going to make them run through a wall. It's about the team that executes the best will win this game. Coach, my phone has been blowing up with people talking about you guys as you know, ending the streak and winning this game. Are you feeling the community behind you guys right now? Oh yeah, we felt the community behind us all season. You know, anytime we played at home, we felt like we had a, a slight edge and an advantage. Uh, they uh, they just enjoyed the season was enjoyable. You know, like it wasn't about uh, the undefeated record at home. It was about just playing in front of them. And I think the the players were energized, but there's no added emphasis on it. Uh, we know both teams are going to end some sort of drought, have the opportunity, and that's just the way. That's why you got to play the game. Looking back at the previous games you played against Winnipeg this season, what did you see made the Ticats so successful in those games? Well, I think we, I think in our first game, I think we, we got the ball. We had some takeaways. And, you know, I think we battled some adversity. We kind of rallied together and found a way to win. You know, I was very impressed with Winnipeg in that first game because I think we dominated the turnover battle, but yet they were driving down to, you know, make it a football game. And the game out there, you know, the, the score wasn't indicative of how, how close it really was. Um, so, again, don't put a lot of stock in those. You look at them, this will be the third quarterback uh, that we faced. And so, uh, as you know with me from all year, we're going we're gonna to focus on the Tiger Cats and see what the scoreboard says at the end.